up guys I'm here at LBL on the Kentucky side um, fixing to do a eight mile track uh, that I have sectioned out that I like <clears throat> on central hardwoods uh, the whole entire thing is about 16 miles long but I have a just a little section that I do that's out for and then back for uh, I've done the whole thing a couple of times before and it's just it's a little bit too much for me and the fun factor wears off pretty quick when you go that distance <clears throat> so uh, just getting ready and uh, we'll see you on the trail guys already seen a few people out walking and whatever you're jogging
one more mile and then I'll turn around and come back. Oh, dog poop. What's up? I'm at the uh, place where I turn around. And I figured I'd just take a second to catch my breath. It's not a real hard ride on this part, but like I've stated a hundred times, I'm pretty weak when it comes to riding off road. I'm slow. Uh, probably because I don't get to do it enough, or probably just because I'm weak in general. More than likely that. So, yeah, I'm just catching the old breath for a minute. Uh, on this ride today, I did bring my GT Pantera Comp. Uh, it's more than capable of this trail. This trail here, you can take cyclocross, cross country, a uh, good urban shredder like my uh, Raleigh Redux 1. Um, you could probably take any road bike as long as you don't have super skinny tires. Because it does have uh, um, a really fine crushed gravel uh, for the trail. Which makes it nice because even if it rains, you can come out and ride. Which is why I came out. Um, all the other trails are dirt and they're just, they're just too muddy for me. Not a big mud rider. So I uh, went ahead and put a little extra air in my tires because you really don't have to have low tire pressure on this kind of stuff. And, and plus it let me uh, roll a little bit faster than uh, if, I'd, if I'd kept them lower pressure so this is more fun so anyway yeah I'm out here all I brought was a, a power aid and that's about it um, of course I keep track of my rides with my phone uh, so anyway I guess I'm gonna turn around go back and I'm gonna stop probably again in Paris Landing maybe and get in about three or four more miles uh, I haven't decided yet. It just depends on how I feel whenever I get back closer to home. So, alright guys. I'll see you on the trail, man. Peace, my brother. <clears throat> well, guys, I'm back. Oh. It was a good ride. It was a slow ride. Ah. <sighs> I'm just too dang slow. 
But like I say, I'm consistent and persistent. And there are quite a few people out today riding and hiking, jogging, all that stuff. That's great. I like seeing that. <sighs> Boy, off road kills me. What a wuss. my battery oh. well guys I'm gonna sign off I'm gonna get on down the road stop at Mickey D's that's usually my little treat that I give myself after I go for a, a uh, off-road ride so we'll see you later I hope everybody enjoys my video uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and most importantly, don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. See y'all later. Alright guys, I did something a little different. Instead of going to Mickey D's, I went to... Sonic. Haven't had Sonic in a long time. Uh, the Sonic in our town is filled with nothing but drug addicts that literally do drugs while they're working. So, I never go to Sonic. But I'm in a different town. And they seem like okay here, but who knows. So we got ourselves a Sonic... Double cheese, bacon, number three. We're going to experience it and see how it goes. I'm a cheeseburger kind of guy. It's hot. Fries weren't hot, but burger's hot. We're good. Well, I just wanted to share this important moment with you. We'll see you later.